Hey guys, it's Dave here. I was going to do the unboxing of the director with the, the DSP Ultra in the last video, uh, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'm doing the director now. So everybody's probably already seen this quite a few times already. So that's the Helix director. Um, they have three, well, two other uh, remotes that you can actually use for this, uh, but this is their main one. There we go. We got the manual. This is basically how it comes, right? I actually wish they would have made something a little bit smaller than this, but uh, just for uh, install purposes. In my vehicle, there's not a lot of space for mounting things. You basically can mount it in the sun glass holder, or you can do like a custom mount or something. Uh, where the USB um, for connecting to Apple CarPlay is in my vehicle. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, it's a, it's fairly big if you compare these to like the Zapcos. The Zapcos are actually pretty, t I actually like the Zapco ones better um, size wise. Uh, other than that, you get the cords and everything below. That's basically all the cords that it comes with. So you don't have to use this. Like I said, there's two other, um, actually three ways you could use it. Uh, you can get the Wi-Fi controller and control, um, control it with your phone. Although I'm not a big fan of uh, um, the volume control. If you're controlling it on your phone, that would be kind of annoying, I think. Um, and then, of course, there's the other two remotes. Uh, that you can use with it, uh, but this is the main one, like I said, and this is probably the best way. It's got a nice volume control on it. Like I said, I wish they would have made the size a little bit smaller, um, just for install purposes. It's touch screen. Um, like I said, you can go on uh, Audio Tech Fisher's uh, Helix Brax website, and you can basically look at all the uh, features of it. Um, and of course, they have, they're adding features as, as they bring out uh, new software. Um, the Ultra, I don't think you can look at the voltage. Uh, I, I know it listed in the manual, the different DSPs that showed the voltage. Um, the Pro, you could, and pretty much all the other ones, but I don't think, it's, which is kind of odd, you would think the Ultra would have had that too, but I don't think it does. According to the manual, it doesn't, unless there's a software update that uh, lets you do that. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's all touchscreen, and it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, for the most part, it's pretty basic. You just, whatever input you want it on, right? Uh, you just click that, and then it's got the master volume knob. And like I said, everything's touch screen. If you want your subwoofer uh, uh, controller on there, you just hit that and go up and down, and that's it. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's it. Thanks, guys.